Hi guys! So in today's video I'm going to touch um, a pretty sensitive topic to me um, not only to me but um, I would say to all the foreigners who live here in Sweden and uh, try to make their life um, livable if if you can say that and and nicer here in Sweden. I use Instagram and I asked uh, through Instagram 10 people from different countries people from different ages um, for different reasons um, people male and female I asked what was the biggest struggle uh, they were going through here in Sweden or what is the biggest struggle they went through that made their life um, more complicated. The most common struggles, as I, mu uh, I must say, and you probably have heard so many times, is uh, learning the Swedish language or just the Swedish language. Um, low confidence uh, using a Swedish language and um, finding uh, new friends, socializing, um, especially when you want to make um, friends who are Swedes. Uh, it's tougher, it's really uh, tough to break that block of ice between Swedish community and foreigner. So these were the uh, the common responses, the common struggles. The biggest struggle, the most sensitive, the toughest one is finding the job here in Sweden, especially for women. Since I spoke to 10 people, I would say 89-90% responded that the toughest one was finding the job. So it took one year and a half, two years uh, for some people uh, to find a, a, a job. People with degrees, with experience, um, who just couldn't make it um, for a long time. People applying, I don't know, 100 times, 200, 500 CVs sent out there and no response at all. Or some people asking for a job um, and, you know, for, for miserable salaries, for almost nothing. Um, you know, I can relate myself as well because I went through uh, these difficulties as well. Being rejected for so many times, so many times, leads to really low self-esteem, um, imposter syndrome, when you feel that these people, when you apply for a job, these people don't respond because maybe because I'm not good enough, I'm just fake, this is all fake, I, I, I just don't deserve this and that. And so, this is so dangerous and uh, some some people even um, responded that it in some cases it, it uh, even led to breakup um, of course because um, because you are in a relationship maybe and so your partner works and you don't work and so you want to contribute but you don't you cannot because you struggle with finding the job and it's not actually your fault and so in some cases it um, leads to a breakup and to you know feeling um, really love uh, uh, yeah with really low self-esteem and especially for um, for women and I got to talk to people from from the US UK Morocco Baltic countries I don't know and it seems like we all go through the same struggles. I also divided these responses in two ca categories, and um, so women and um, men, and it seems like men struggle um, uh, more often with uh, making friends and dating, it seems so. I guess when men moves here to Sweden is because of a job offer and relocation in most of the cases, and women, um, really often women moves because of their partners or husbands that get a um, <clears throat> better job here in Sweden and so they just follow along and this becomes really tough um, in, um, in most cases. Also I must mention that one of the biggest struggles as well is the lack of bank ID here in Sweden is absolutely a must-have and if you don't have a bank ID your life is almost impossible you cannot rent a flat uh, because you don't have a bank ID and if you don't have a job just forget about it you cannot do a, almost you, you can do 
nothing practically. You just cannot verify yourself. It's because it's your electronic ID. And if you don't have it, you just have nothing. You're just no one here. And so a lack of bank ID makes foreigners' life much uh, tougher. And I also read, um, you know, according to World Population Review website, um, one of the best countries to live in, it says, in 2021 is Sweden in seventh place, after Germany in sixth place and before Australia in ninth place. And it says Sweden has a strong social welfare system providing strong healthcare and free education. Sweden's social model focuses on growth, equality, freedom and security. Sweden also has great conditions for workers, such a minimum of five weeks vacation and a government organization that supports entrepreneurs looking to start a company. Lastly, like the other Nordic countries, Sweden has a very low rates of violent crime and ranks well for overall health and well-being. This sounds so attractive when you, when you read it, but I think this is only true when you made it in Sweden, especially for foreigners. Because life in Sweden is really tough if you have this lack of basic things to survive here, to make it here. The response is very easy because sometimes there's no way back. Once you leave your or, uh, country of origin to make it here in Sweden, um, you already have left your previous job, you probably closed your bank accounts, you left everything, you got rid of everything to start this new life here in Sweden. And so the struggle would be double because you have nothing in your uh, country of origin and you more or less have nothing yet in Sweden and so you try to make it in Sweden because you followed your partner, your family, your husband, your wife, whatever and so you kind of live between two countries where you're not stable there, neither here but maybe Sweden if it's even even if it's tough it has more possibilities because you at least have your family here that you moved for. It's just complicated, it's not so easy to just, you know, struggle for a year here in Sweden, for example, and try to make it here, and if it doesn't work, just move back to your country, because there's nothing awaiting for you, because you have left everything behind. It's just, it's just not so easy. I just really wanted to, um, to, um, you know, speak out and um, talk about it and um, give voice to it and uh, underline the importance um, of uh, this, you know, this situation and the struggles that foreigners go through so many times, so often. Like, every single person that I talk to I just can't relate to that person. I can just say, oh, you know, I went through the same. You know, I know what is it um, having nothing in your bank account or not being able to pay anything or lack of a bank ID or just struggling finding the job for like so long time. Your confidence gets damaged and it's really impossible to not to compare your, yourself to others, especially to Swedes here, especially for women. It's really, really, really damaging sometimes and almost denigrating. It denigrates your personality, it makes you feel low because you come from a country where you had a job, when you were stable, when you were someone and you over here become a baby, no one. Depending on someone or just depending on no one. And I don't know, touching almost poverty in some cases. I would say that the most privileged group uh, in between these foreigners that move here to Sweden is the ones that get relocated, that get um, a job offer from Sweden. Company hires you even though if you live in, you know, Spain or somewhere. Um, so they uh, grant you, you know, workplace and salary and everything and so they relocate you. I think this is the most privileged people there that 
cannot really complain. Um, maybe can complain about the weather, the darkness or a lack of friends. But you know, you don't really need Swedish language because you can use um, English. If you are into IT and you're really good, you're fancy, you know. That's what I think. Um, but other groups that have to start from scratch, sometimes it's really complicated. Most of the times. I, I cannot stop hearing it, like, and people go through insane stories. I ask why do people think that um, this is this way? Why it's so hard to get a job here in Sweden? What is the reason why it's so tough? And most of the responses were um, that the Swedish system is not designed for immigrants to have success when applying jobs and Swedish companies hire inside, inside their comfort zone. And also human resources objectives are not oriented to have candidates that are a cultural odd. Sometimes um, it's actually this way and uh, um, you know, you can understand that maybe Swedish company um, doesn't hire you because they don't know you, they don't really trust. And also, if you have a lack of Swedish language, it's almost nothing to do here. So it makes it even triple tough. I'm gonna just read one of the messages that I got, one of the responses. I had diplomas up to a digital and social media master degree and work experience but no one wanted me here in Sweden for seven months. I had to end up in um, with a recruitment coach to introduce me to companies because they had a contact and they would not reply to me. The company I'm working at the moment, I applied four times myself and they never replied, but when the hiring coach introduced me, they instantly were interested. There is uh, um, one of the most sensitive messages I, I got as a response to my question what were the biggest uh, struggles you went through and so I'm gonna just read it for you. I don't know exactly what struggles, but my biggest struggle was just in general get any job. Any job to survive, to be able to provide half in my relationship, um, then always be scared of prices. There were times when I always calculated how much money I can afford to buy monthly breakfast, 100 crowns. I went to the shop, used calculator, and in the end it turned out I didn't have enough money to buy food. Just having a decent other life when I can pay. I remember how 70 crowns Fika sounded extremely crazy and I didn't buy. Even if something was 30 crowns, I was already embarrassed that I can afford. Looking for a job th that long, I just lost my degree meaning. If couldn't improve, use my skills, clean up my talent, no knowledge, then how can I prove that yes, I'm good at this after not having related my skills to that job? It damaged relationship by not having a job, living in savings only, always checking how much I can still afford, etc just not being able to contribute. So you guys, the solution to this situation and to these struggles is, I don't know, to just fight, 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 fight and uh, fight. And uh, I think it's really important to support each other, this community that um, there is. Uh, between foreigners that go through the same situation. It's a nice networking, um, you know, experience. So I think it's really useful um, and I would definitely encourage everyone who struggles, me too, to just make connections and um, and just keep in touch with people and share your experience. And so um, this makes your life easier but yeah, this was a bit sensitive uh, video, but I really wanted to bring this up because it's really important. I think it's, it's vital because I myself struggle so much and struggle, I do, do struggle and I do have this low self-esteem and um, imposter syndrome sometimes or just feeling low and, and you know, it's, it's just easy to feel this way, it's just easy to be in that situation. It's inevitable to not compare yourself to others and and it's just tough sometimes. 
so yeah it's better to speak about it and um, and maybe for Swedish community as well so you guys Swedes get uh, to know a little bit how is it for us foreigners that are not so privileged that uh, were not granted a relocation or something that have to start from scratch and uh, you know you guys it makes us stronger and uh, definitely it uh, builds a strong personality probably and uh, thick skin so yeah leave your comments down below what do you think about um, this topic and see you guys in the next video bye